Namaste masters i am your meditation coach ayappa pindi thank you for joining today first my pranams to my guru ji brahma shri pitama patri ji and to all the pyramid spiritual society movement thank you very much everybody must know what are these seven bodies and what are we comprised of and what is the functionality of each and every body the more we know about it the more knowledge we have the better we execute our life we are not just this visible physical body we are also the invisible six more bodies today we will see the second body that is etheric body which is also called as pranamaya kosha the word prana is what makes this body move act when the prana is gone this body becomes a dead body in 1800s the first time this etheric body is named name was coined if you want to know more about the etheric body astral body causal body ether one must read spiritual books of theosophical society by annie besant ledbetter blavatsky then you will understand the occult chemistry the occult science always speaks about the invisible how it impacts the visible we all see this physical body and we think we are only this but we are not just this visible matter we are invisible energies ether is the element which is used for a creation of the etheric body which is the very next body of this physical body the main source of ether is the sunlight this physical body is made of panchabhutas solid liquid gas and the ether it comes from the sunlight when we read books related to it then we understand there's so much we need to know the etheric body generally stays for 3 days and then it perishes after the death of this physical body the etheric body generally starts from 1 to 1 and 1/2 inch then it grows to exponential depends upon how healthy you are and how spiritual you are and how you evolved you are the etheric body is a very transparent layer which you cannot see this through this physical eyes but with constant practice you can see the etheric body an etheric body is just the replica of this physical body it has the nervous systems it has all the prana vayus it has all the organs of our body it's exactly a xerox copy of this physical human body all the problems we have in this body the root cause may be your mind or past life karmas but the past life karmas or the mind's limitations first becomes patches in the etheric body and then it transforms to the physical body first it gets into the etheric body as patches and from that it reflects to the physical body people who have a very heavy karmas by birth they bring a lot of karmas so by birth their etheric body is full of damage so as the physical body too when the physical body grows the etheric body also grows similar to it if you want this etheric body to be very very strong you have to do meditation in the sunlight then the etheric body grows stronger and your immunity improves this physical body needs fresh air right food right rest right walking all those which is related to the panchabhutas the physical body needs and the etheric body needs sunlight as well as cosmic energy only then all the 72000 energy nadis in the etheric body gets cleansed when that gets cleansed this physical body ailments will naturally vanish everybody should watch a small video called spiritual reality which is available on youtube it's available in many languages whichever you are comfortable everybody has to see that then you will understand what is the science of this body how the thoughts are formed how the etheric patches are in the body and when the thought goes when the 
meditation energy that is cosmic energy comes in all the etheric patches vanishes naturally then this physical body become healthy if somebody don't do meditation but still they are healthy it means they don't have negative karmas or they don't have any mind limitations but that doesn't is not enough because they have to learn lot for the soul's evolution that's the right way if you are with diseases any disease you have to rectify it you have to correct it if you want to see the etheric body with the physical eyes it is possible i always see that you can make any person or object or a plant or animal make sure the background is especially the white color or any any single color make them sit and you keep staring at them as long as you can at the single point slowly you will see a transparent layer around them it comes with practice for few people it will be very less for few people to keep on looking the end point will be somewhere it is a very like it is a ether is visible it's a very transparent layer i have seen many times during especially 10 or 15 years ago 10 years ago when i was in the corporate meetings and people talk generally those are like plain walls i see the etheric bodies for a few people it will be good for a few people it will be very less but yet i cannot comment there but i used to see and enjoy for some people we can even see the aura that we will talk about after we cover all the seven bodies when we talk about the soul consciousness i'll talk about the aura but etheric and aura both are different this etheric is exact replication of your physical body suppose you are working in a factory or by accident you lost a finger but in the etheric body that finger will be still there it will it will operate but here you don't have the finger to operate so this etheric body is a prana shakti it needs physical body to sustain and also it is always in constant touch with the other higher bodies it acts as a bridge between the astral body and the physical body this etheric body generally dies immediately after 3 days when the physical body dies there is no separate world for etheric body earth is the place like physical body this is the place but etheric also this is the place earth is the place the third dimension but astral body there is astral world but etheric body it is formed here it dies here it get dissolved after the physical body dies so people when they change their thinking pattern the lifestyle habits becoming open minded then that energy flows into the etheric body and the etheric patches vanishes and then the physical body suddenly becomes young energetic the constant worries the constant pains in your life you always think about it it will make your etheric body so weak all the patches and there is no energy from the top we have to just survive with medicines chemicals the food here some day you are going to die in pain and again you come back when you feed something to the physical body it won't travel to all the bodies but when you meditate it travels to all the body the finally it will come and reflect in the physical body we need experiences through the physical form we need energies we need good friendship we need so much of knowledge this will help all the seven bodies rather a man stuck in the pain he takes sorrows miseries sympathy ignorance and all these things is delaying your enlightenment by taking much more lifetimes many more lifetimes if it has to be done between 300 to 350 it has to be done we are just delaying it with our ignorance meditation is a very common thing is available everywhere it's free we have to once we come to know about it we have to sit and practice then all our bodies get cleansed all our body gets energized then we move on to the other planes we are move on with a new experience new learning otherwise we are dumb stuck the etheric body pranamaya kosha etheric double ether the second body which stays near the physical body very much close to the physical body one to one and a half inch it starts it may expand to many feet and this is all about the etheric body during meditation when you are in the sunlight it absorbs lot of ether and thereby your physical body health improves a lot ultimately meditation is the solution for all 
and also right thinking pattern will always help you and today we have completed learning about what is a trick body for more learning you can always refer to theosophical books written by anibesant and blavatsky 